Unknown to the troops camped in the vicinity, the Chinese had built up a superior force of nearly 300,000. On the 27th, more than 120,000 of those soldiers attacked the smaller UN force. The buildup had not been detected by U.S. intelligence, and the troops were taken completely by surprise. Oh, they were noisy. They had whistles and horns and bugles and everything that they, that they blow that, that, uh, when they come on the invasion. They had us pinned down there for a while, and then you really didn't think about being a casualty because all you thought about was doing the job and get out of there. It was like a flood. The first couple of waves had weapons. The ones behind them didn't have weapons, and they were picking up weapons as they were coming. And uh, at points, there were uh, Chinese dead uh, as deep as 10, 10 deep. The Chinese People's Volunteer Army used everything at their disposal to carry men and materiel. A few enemy soldiers rode horses into battle. The PVA's ammunition and supplies were carried on the backs of exotic animals. I was called a liar for a lot of years until I finally seen it in print, you know. Uh, we were shooting camels, elephants, mules, dogs, anything that could carry uh, anything. It's the first time I'd, I'd seen an elephant outside of a, a circus, you know, and a camel outside of, of a, a zoo. It just, uh, it was just mind-boggling. The troops fought back as best they could, despite being outnumbered more than four to one. Praying a lot. Uh, I've seen guys fire their weapons, uh, machine guns, uh, firing them so long, so fast, and everything that the, the barrels would actually, actually melt and and droop. Your mind doesn't register. You've got a job to do, like cleaning out a cow barn. You know, there's that. There's that trough that you have to scoop, you know. And you scoop until it's done. By the last days of November, the United Nations force was surrounded. As the noose tightened, the UN soldiers and Marines counterattacked. They managed to break out and head south to the port city of Hungnam, 